Injections, so now she can go out for like walks and stuff. Um, so we thought it'd be a fantastic idea to book a weekend away um, and get her like exposed to loads of different surroundings and different people and dogs and stuff. Um, so we've actually come to the Isle of Wight for a long weekend, so it's Friday now, and then we'll be going home on Monday. Um, and yeah, we just we picked the Isle of Wight because James used to live here. So, you know, like he knows it really well and we have been here like many times before together. Um and it's really dog friendly as well. So yeah, we just thought it'd be ideal because it's not far to go either in the car. Um we've got a lodge for a couple of nights with like a hot tub and like a little veranda type thing. And we're just gonna take three nights out of life and just chill out. We've not really got like a strict a strict schedule or anything. So we're just gonna take every hour as it comes and yeah, just go as we please, do as much or as little as we want. Um so we've just got the ferry from Portsmouth over to Fishbourne, is it? Yeah. And James has picked somewhere for us to go for breakfast um yeah and Nelly was really good on the ferry as well she was a really good girl I gave her our breakfast on the ferry um just to kind of keep her focused on something and yeah she done a wee and a poo she done a poo on the ferry <laughs> and a wee before we got on so that's really good it shows that she's um like confident to do that in somewhere that's not like her territory so yeah so far so good but she did spend the day yesterday with her sister her mum and um like some of the breeders other dogs so she is absolutely pooped like she normally goes nuts at about eight o'clock at night until she's like due to go to bed and she just slept like as soon as she got in she just slept and yeah she slept the whole way to Portsmouth and she's still asleep now um so yeah I do think James and I are going to get a lot of time to ourselves this weekend because she's just going to be knackered <laughs> and she's going to go for walkies and sleepies and yeah just lots of fun so we're going to off the rails for breakfast and then yeah we've got a very loose itinerary so we'll just um mosey about and potter about on the island until we're due to go to the cabin the lodge lodge have you got anything to add? Just sitting up for the Isle of Wight Festival there. 
I want that. Yeah. That's what we just drove past. Yeah. Oh, we're not doing that. Gate A5. Oh, yeah. What is the Isle of Wight Festival? Is it just like a like concerts it's a music festival yeah funny isn't it why it's do they why do they do an Isle of Wight festival <laughs> well, what a weird thing to say well why don't they do like an Essex festival they, well they do don't they um think festivals in Essex isn't it mm, yeah that's true. Well, every county has a music festival but why do they have V festival in it that's like saying why do they have V festival in Essex but yeah, we'll probably talk a bit more about when James used to live here, like, later. Because, um, yeah, I've asked him to explain it so many times, but I still get really confused with James's timeline. I've given up trying to understand it, because it's like he lived here, and then he moved back, and then he lived here again, and then he moved back, and... Yeah, yeah get I'll get him too. Yeah, but I don't understand, like, the ages and stuff, and jobs and whatever. But um, fun fact, James did do um, like wait. Is it waiting? What do you call it if you're a waiter? What do you? Yeah, what's wait. the verb? Waiting. Well, James was a waiter for like one shift, was it? Yeah. Well, no, two. Tell the story. Well, we've got a minute. And then I, um, there was always like a little corner in the restaurant that where like the little bar was, but it weren't a standing bar. You couldn't kind of stand there. Was just where like the drinks fridges were and the shelves with the glasses on and they was quite low and i was like getting some drinks out of it and as i stood up i hit my head on the shelf and all the glasses fell off and yeah so that was it didn't someone ask you for condiments oh condiments so, yeah what did you say who did he play for <laughs> and uh, it was quite a nice restaurant wasn't it yeah so did you quit or did you get sacked no i just said to him i just don't don't think this is don't for me, think this is for me <laughs> I can't imagine you um, being a waiter. Like, if someone was to complain about the food, God help them. Well, if they had left some, I would have left. <laughs> yeah. You're up on that roof, though. Uh, but yeah, lovely sunny day. It says it's 15 degrees outside, but I think um, the Isle of Wight always feels a little bit warmer. Well, it's it not... has actually got its own little climate. Has it? Yeah, it has. Let's have another look at Nelly because she's so cute. Aww. I just want to add as well, I know um, like when we're watching vlogs, James in particular loves like travel day. So whether that's like traveling in a car, plane, train, like ferry, whatever, James loves the travel day. So it's quite like hypocritical that we've not really vlogged the actual traveling. Um, but we left home at, well, the first thing to know is I'm really not a morning person. We always say that I have to defrost when I wake up. But we left home at like 20 past five this morning to get the 7.20 ferry. Um, and I don't know how people vlog when they're like trying to get all their stuff together to leave because it's stressful enough without without losing a hand to like holding a camera and like wasting time talking to the camera while you're trying to get out and get going can't deal with that and then I actually slept like most of the way here because I was really tired we only had about like five hours sleep last night so that's why we didn't film any of that and then obviously like on the ferry I was trying to give Nellie her breakfast and James went off to get drinks and a bit of toast and to be honest by the time I'd given her her breakfast and then James had come back with two coffees and then I went to the toilet it was like time to go back to the car. Yeah, it's only for five minutes, isn't it? It was about half an hour. It was, it was, yeah, and it, it went like ten minutes. Well, if the ferry was 7.20 and it's 8.20 now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, apologies that I didn't really vlog any of that, but yeah, no, I'm here for an easy, easy life. But we're here now, and we're vlogging, and we'll show you everything else that we get up to.
we're here at Oscar Rouse in Yarmouth. We just took Nelly for a little walk down there just while we waited for them to open. And look at the menu. How cool is this? That noise you can hear is Nelly having a drink. <laughs> Oh, so these are the breakfasts. So what is this? An abandoned, not abandoned, like an old... Um... It's, a, it's an old railway station. Oh, cool, isn't it? Look, platform one. Really nice. She's been so good. How amazing does this look? James has gone for a classic fry up. Looks very posh. And I've gone for the pescatarian, which is smoked salmon. Basically, actually, eggs benedict, but on toast. Complete. That was really nice, wasn't it? Really good, yeah. And James is enjoying the sun on his back. And little Nels is enjoying people watching. She's enjoying eating the gravel. Yeah, she's enjoying eating the gravel. There you go. And people watching because she's so nosy. <laughs> James, just start start that sentence again. Why? Because I feel like it's a good insight into some of the conversations we have. So, when I was at school there, I, um, I, I managed to get on the school council. Only, but only because uh, when I've done my pitch, I promised them, I promised all the like skateboarders that I'd get them a skate park built in the school. And so they. Well, I say more for them for believing that could happen. Yeah, so they're done. <laughs> right. Um, I don't know where this is going. So they all voted me in, but we could never get the skate park done. But and. Our school was op literally opposite another school, and for some stuff, this we as a school like teamed up on. So sometimes we would have to go over there for like school council meetings and stuff. Mm. So I made a suggestion that we should, because when we had to go out, we had to put high vis on and have the teacher flipping take us over there. And, so I suggested it would probably be a bit more beneficial if we just excavated a tunnel. <laughs> and that was my serious, that was a serious contribution from me. What, that excavating a tunnel made more sense than just putting on a high vis and walking? Yeah, yeah. I, I remember, I remember exactly the conversation. If these two schools are going to continue to pair up and stuff, surely it just makes more sense to excavate the tunnel. How old was you? Uh, like 12 or something. You didn't know the word excavate at that age. Well, well, Dick. You probably learnt it last last week. Right, well, you just pissed me off. <laughs> so we just done a little bit of shopping in Newport. When we're at the lodge later, Jack, what is she doing? Jumping around. James can do a haul of um, what we got that are successful, and then. Yeah, I don't know what we're really going to do now. I think we're just going to have a little drive about. Um, just maybe, I don't know, park up somewhere and have a we're drink. Go or... to there we go, go to Bembridge. Um, what was you just saying about when I was in Boots? Uh, um, this couple like stopped and was like, oh, honey, you're adorable. And I said, hey. uh, and I said, I said, yeah, yeah, it's a she. And the lady, then the lady went, oh, she's lovely. She, uh, she said, um, I'll never see a tri-colour. And then she went on to say that they've had five spaniels. They lost the last one six weeks ago, but they've got a cockapoo now. I, I just went, oh, nice. I really don't like the cockapoos. <laughs> Sorry to anyone that's got a cockapoo. But, um, and then the, but the bloke kept going, yeah, yeah. Um, he's lovely in that colour, and I went, yeah, yeah, it's a she. And then 
he, I, I honestly, he must have said it about three or four more times, and I went, it's a she, a, sh a girl, it's not a he. And he went, oh, yeah, yeah, she's lovely. Oh, yeah. Fucking I hell. mean, how can you look at that little face? Where is she? How can you look at that little face and just assume it's a boy? She's beautiful. So it's a little while later now, and we went into Newport. Oh, I told you about that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So after Newport, we then just, um, we've driven to Benbridge, because uh, there's a really nice butcher's here. So we just got some sausages um, to have for breakfast, and then James has just popped into the co-op to get some milk. What does she think she's doing? Nelly, you got to get back in the basket. We've had a call to say that our lodge is ready, so yeah, we're going to go there, unpack everything, um, and then just chill for a couple of hours, because obviously it's been a very busy day already. So we'll show you the lodge when we are there. We'll see you in a minute. So we've just parked the car, and we're just walking up to the lodge now. So it does mean we've got to lug everything up here, but that's okay for a lodge with a hot tub as well so let's have a little look see what this is like well at least it's quite nice and private which is really good right this is the lounge oh, area nice little kitchen area <laughs> Oh, look, poo bags, a little treat, and a bowl, a table, patio doors, and just out there is the hot tub. So I can't wait to get in that. Oh, wow. Right, let's go through and have a look at the rooms. So, okay, boiler. James got backseat boilers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, this is good to know. Little iron in there and a clothes rack, ironing board. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is lovely. Telly, nice big bed, which is great. Dressing table, the mirror. Hair dryer, that's good because I didn't know if we'd have a hair dryer. I didn't bring one. Nelly's marking her territory and she's just done away. Nelly, come here. Oh, she just stepped in it. I'll clean that up in a second. Right, BRB, let me just clean this up and we'll continue the tour. Okay, continuing the tour. Wardrobe space. Oh, I can't be asked to unlock that second door. So, wardrobe space. Wardrobe space. Get out of there. Nice bath. I didn't realise we get a bath with um, like the jets as well. Absolutely massive mirror. Two basins, heated towel rail. This would be lovely in the winter. Nice. Uh, what's this called? <laughs> nice big shower. Another towel rail. And the toilet. Oh, this is really nice, isn't it? It's really good. What are you crying for? It's because you're tired, aren't you? You want to go to sleep. Right, we're going to just go and grab everything and bring it in. Um, and have a sort out. Put her to sleep because she actually hasn't had a proper sleep all day. And we'll update you in a moment okay oh okay so we've got a washing machine um we've got another bin bag ouch okay there's a dishwasher and there is actually one dishwasher tablet under there um we've got what's this oh a little um washing up liquid a sponge a dishcloth and again it looks like another bin bag we've got microwave toaster kettle set of knives chopping board 
fridge freezer. Um, what have we got? Obviously plates and cooking bits. Where? Oh, wine cooler. Oven. Right, so this is where like all the utensils and stuff are. Cool. The only thing is, I wouldn't really say it's the cleanest because, can you see? I don't know if you can see, yeah. It's like quite dirty. I will probably like take pictures of that and send it in an email. Not like complaining, but just feedback. Like that's pretty like standard stuff, I think really, just to wipe over the kitchen. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna unpack my shopping now. You know what guys, on closer inspection, <laughs> it's actually really not that clean. Um, so obviously I pointed out the bits there. There's like all crumbs here, like all crumbs in there. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like the fridge just ha like hasn't been wiped at all. It's like hairs, it's just a bit, a bit grubby. Like, can you see you in there? So, yeah. So I hate to be one of them people, but I did just find reception because I haven't got any like anti back wipes or anything with me and to be honest when you've paid money to stay somewhere like you shouldn't have to do that anyway so I have just phoned reception and she's going to send a cleaner down um, and I can like show them what we need but it's even just like the general wear and tear it, it's been worn and torn you know it needs it needs a bit of um like a lick of paint and a bit of love so I've taken loads of photos and what I'm going to do is when, when we check out or when we've gone home on Monday, um, I will like email just with the, not because not I even want anything, just with the feedback. Um, because this, this lodge I think for our stay was meant to be like £800. I wouldn't pay that. So a lady came pretty much like straight away, like as I was recording that last clip she was like walking over um she was really nice she was absolutely fine i don't think she was the lady that like cleaned it well unless she was just pretending she wasn't because she was like oh yeah it does look like the cleaners literally just come through really quickly and she did say to me she was like look show me what bits you're not happy with and i'll i'll do them in front of you and so i did and then um, yeah, like she said, she will pass on to management that this lodge in particular could really do with um, like a bit of TLC. And like I say, I've got like loads of photos and videos and stuff that I can like email in. And it's not because I want anything from it. It's literally just feedback. Like the, the travel agent in me knows that if I can like stop other customers having to make a complaint and therefore stop other people having to deal with it, and like companies having to give away money then i will um so yeah i will be contacting i don't know if i need to contact host seasons or because we did actually book this through one of the girls i used to work with who still works at um the tui shop so i don't know if i need to contact her and like do the like complaint through TUI or through high seasons but either way we paid 445 pounds for this cabin like i say it was on like a special offer um i guess because we booked like not long ago um so yeah it was meant to be i think i think you know what i think this one because it's got the hot tub i think it was meant to be like 700 pound because i remember looking at that and thinking three nights in the isle of Wight for nearly a grand absolutely not but like i say it was on a special offer um and yeah i would have been absolutely fuming if we had paid that amount of money for this um still don't think it's worth the 445 just if if it was like freshly painted and we came in and it was like sparkling clean then yeah 100 percent it's worth it because it's lovely like it's got everything you need but considering it wasn't sparkling clean, 
wouldn't say it was necessarily even just clean. Um, it's a bit annoying to pay, yeah, like money to come somewhere uh, when your house is better. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm not gonna let that ruin anything. Like we're here, we're gonna have a really nice time. We're gonna use the hot tub. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna make the most of a nice relaxing evening and afternoon now. So I'm just gonna carry on sorting everything out. Little Nell is in her crate. She keeps shutting the door. I'm not shutting the door, she keeps shutting the door. So she can come out and show you. We normally put like her dog bed in there as well. Um, but that's in like the bedroom at the minute. I'm hoping being in the crate will mean that she's going to settle down a little bit. Because she is tired. What the he What have you got? Oh, God's sakes. There's like all bits in here from when she rips her bed apart. Oh, girl. So, yeah, James has just popped to Tesco to get, um, like, milk. And I think he wanted just, like, ice lollies and stuff like that. So... Yeah, we've got some goodies tonight. So I'll show you when I do it. But tonight we've got like pizzas and stuff. Um, and goodie wise, we've got these biscuits. James's mum went over to Calais the other day. Um, and she bought us loads of these back. There you go. They're like James's favourite biscuits. Um, these, we love these. Just like with a cup of tea first thing in the morning. Or like while we're out and about, these are really good. We've got Jameson sweet popcorn. We've got roasted salted cashew nuts. James loves these randoms. We always share these though. I just like the foamy ones. So them. Peanut M Ms. Aero bubbles. Albans. And chocolate. There we go. Chocolate digestives. So I think that's enough treats for three nights. Um. So we're going to do like breakfast in the lodge and then we'll probably have lunches while we're out and then um, dinner in the lodge except for Sunday evening we're going to get like a fish and chips on the seafront or something like that. We haven't really got like an itinerary like I said. We definitely want to go to the garlic farm for lunch because we've been to the garlic farm but it was absolutely tipping it down with rain the last time we went there so we didn't really stay long. We just got some stuff from the gift shop and went. So I'd like to have lunch there. Probably get some more stuff from the gift shop because it is good for like Christmas presents. And then, yeah, see if we can have a little walk. I don't really know. Can you just have a walk around the garlic farm? I'm not sure. And I will show you like tonight our dinner and tomorrow and any other meals that we do. Um, I completely forgot. I did actually have some Dettol wipes in one of my bags i bought like some pet friendly ones just when i done the food shop and i do have some floor wipes as well uh, that's mainly if like nelly does a wee or a poo but like, i know i bought them um so yeah i have gone over everything again with the detail wipe just i don't know it's like a mental thing like i feel like if i've done it then i i'm like mentally i'm okay with how it is i don't know but yes i'm just gonna sort nelly's stuff out now so i have to weigh out nelly's food but she's had a lot of treats today i have to make sure she doesn't hear or see that because she knows the sound that her her food makes when it's in this box um but yeah this was like her lunch but I, as you can see i haven't given it all to her because she has had a lot of treats today obviously where this is the first day that she's actually been out on the lead on the floor because we're crazy like that and you know we like to make life hard for ourselves but yeah because this is the first day she's actually been able to go on the floor on the lead we thought she needs some sort of you know motivation and reason to actually keep walking so she has had a lot of treats today and like i say Arla white's very dog friendly so when we've gone into shops like they've just happened to have dog treats so what's nelly got in her bag so she's got wayne Wright's mint and parsley sticks they're quite big so 
So I do break them in half for her. Well, I mean, okay, they were big like a month ago when she was a teeny tiny little puppy. She's got them. Um, like I say, I weigh out her food for her. So she's got all her meals weighed out. There's a tree that's moving like behind me in the window. I don't know if you can see it, but I keep thinking it's like a person, so I keep like looking behind me. But anyway, yeah, this is just her kibble with um one pump of salmon oil. And I swear to God, it, it has really improved the quality of her fur. Like, her fur was lovely and soft anyway. But now, everyone that strokes her comments on how soft she is. And the reason why I introduced it as well was because she was really, like, biting herself a lot and really itchy all the time. And I read that, I mean, it wasn't fleas. Even the vet, like, combed through her and was like, she's definitely not got fleas. But, um... I read that salmon oil helps with like dog skin and I don't know she could have like allergies or I don't know she could just be like me and have shit skin because I get psoriasis all the time um but she she is like itching herself less now as well so yeah a pump of salmon oil in every meal has really helped we've got this like little enrichment toy so you just pop the treats in there and then as she like plays with it they come out that's just to keep her busy um we've got the bugger lugs little cologne it smells like talcum powder it's so nice she's looking at me like please don't spray me with that again mummy but it honestly smells like johnson's baby talcum powder it's so nice got her brush we've got some treats and we also have got a 15 meter lead because uh, we thought like if she wants to go in the sea or if like the beach is pretty clear like there's not really anyone else there she can go off a little bit more feel a bit more independent and we did get um like a it's like rubbery but it's like waterproof collar james got it for her it's like screen um collar and a little lead so again these are the ones that she can use if it's like muddy or whatever because i've got her some nice ones from coco park so i don't want them getting muddy Oof. okay drinks wise okay so james doesn't drink anymore he hasn't really he hasn't drunk properly for like since november he maybe had like five not even five drinks i'd say throughout like christmas and january and then i want to say like from february he literally just hasn't drunk at all and i rarely rarely drink because if anything it just gives me a headache now um so anyways we got pepsi max which is just like the best drink ever uh we've got schler does anyone remember schler like until when james stopped drinking i was like okay what can we get that would be nice to have with like a dinner that's not just like a pepsi fanta kind of thing schler so we've got a oh they even call it a rose that's so funny um i'm not sure i don't know what this is meant to taste like but it's schler rose and then we've got the classic white grape but this one is like zero sugar so yeah let me pop them away so yeah we was going to have an early dinner because it's now four o'clock so we might get into the hot tub for a little bit and then have dinner but anyway so i need to go into the other room now and sort out our clothes so i'll see you in a minute when he's back Well, you told me that I need to do a spinny. They're your higgory piggeries or whatever they're called. Heavy honors. So I've just got plain black with a little diamonty thing on. Three pairs of socks. Santa Cruz t shirt. Nice shirt's back. Nice. And then Bargain of the Century. Oh, I got some sunglasses because James left his sunglasses at home. Um, They're just some cheap vans ones and yeah, we said but, uh, quite good really for sixteen pounds. 
16 pound for these van sunglasses i think that's quite good hmm. well yeah it is really good and they're just gonna be for like if he's in the garden or and then whatever i've been thinking about getting a pair of these for ages now for quite some time show us properly mm. they're supposed to be 60 pound but they only have one pair left and where the one on display has been out on display the the gray or the color has very slightly faded it's a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter, but I'm just going to leave this one out in the sun for a day, and then I won't that bothered. But they were supposed to be sixty pound. She done it for thirty. She said I'll take a bit off for you. Do it for thirty. She's been so good today, hasn't she? Mm -hmm. We've really been working on our crate training, and we've been really consistent and patient with it, and then. Um, Obviously now it's got to the point where we've just left the door open and she just went in on her own. And we was even sat here eating Doritos for a minute. She came over, had a sniff, went back in her crate and fell asleep. So I was saying to James, it's good that obviously even though we're in a, a new setting, she knows that that's her space that she can go to. And she looks so cute and little in there. Oh, she's been so good, so proud. Fake Domino's is in the oven. Nelly's in her crate eating a leaf that she put in there earlier. We've got JFR on the telly giving us a nice little resort tour of Butlins. And James Brown's just relaxing on the sofa. And then James got these low alcohol, I mean it says they're alcohol free, it's literally like 0.3% beers i've just tried it it's really nice it's quite fruity what do you think let me just pause jack so we can give him our full attention it won't pause mm. yeah nice isn't it do you know what i mean when i say it's like fruity yeah yeah very nice recommend that so dinner is served so it's the takeout club from asda and the deal is two pizzas a side and one of these dips it's not going to focus is it one of these dips for 10 pounds 
Um, but I then have to add on another side because literally like one little side of kickers between two people, it's like four bits of chicken each. No. Um, and I also get a couple more dips. <laughs> so that's what we've got. We've got the stuffed crust pepperoni and then like a meat feast. I would normally do barbecue chicken, but they didn't have it. And then obviously we've got like the chicken kicker dupes. Um, and honestly, this is a really good alternative to a, a Domino's. It does taste like the exact same, but it's obviously so much cheaper. So we're just going to eat this now. So we had dinner and then we watched a bit of Police Interceptors just because it was literally just the best thing that was on. Um, luckily we've brought James' laptop with us so when we get in bed we can watch like Netflix or something. Um, but it is now 20 past 8 and we are so tired because obviously we only got four hours sleep last night like I said. Four or five? Five hours sleep. Um, and I don't know about anyone else but like when I know I've got to get up early and it's like so important that I get up at the right time I have really broken sleep and I'll wake up pretty much every hour um, and I did I woke up after an hour of sleeping so like half 12 and then I woke up again at 2 and then I woke up again at half 3 and it's because in my mind I know that I cannot miss my alarm and I'm so aware of it in my like, subconscious. It's, oh, it's so annoying. So the sleep I did have was broken and it was rubbish. So I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. So yeah, James is just taking Nelly like down the end of um like the road. I don't know. He's just taking her like around the corner and back just to see if he can get her to do a little poo-poo before we go to sleep but yeah I just suppress the yawn then yeah when he gets back we are hitting the sack so I'm gonna finish this vlog here tonight because we're not gonna be doing anything else um thank you for watching please like subscribe comment share us on your story I love it when people are watching us and they take a picture and put it on their Instagram and tag us please do that I love it it really makes my day to actually see who is watching us because obviously I can see like how many views we get but I don't know who these people are and it, I find it really annoying I'd love to know who is actually watching so if you are please let me know so yeah we'll see you next time bye grumpy if you carry on because it's stressful enough without losing a hand to that's prison without losing a hand to james we've been here like five times i know that's the prison she's Ooh, absolutely knackered oh okay let's stop filming now so i just got plain black because i oh i'm not focusing i just got plain black i just got plain black Ah, oh, because I've zoomed in. What colour did you get? I just got plain black with a little diamante thing on. Uh.